Hi everyone, and welcome to Studio Jake. I, of course, am your host, Jacob Airy. Welcome to my vidcast where I talk about all things pop culture. Be sure to like this video, share it out, leave me a comment, and of course subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. I'm over 860, so I'm in the last uh, in the last circle here, if you will. So please consider subscribing. It really helps the smaller channels out like me. All right. So diving right into the topic, I was on Jester Bell's live stream to celebrate her 4,000, over 4,000 subscribers, and we briefly talked about Elon Musk uh, deciding to get rid of the Twitter block from the X app. So as you know, X used to be called Twitter, and it had this really nifty feature called Block. And for those of you not on Twitter, which Twitter is not real life, so I'm assuming there are people out there not on Twitter, <laughs> um, this was really handy. So I gave the example in the live stream I was on that at the tail end of the MCU, because Captain Marvel was not that great of a film, it became okay for people to get views and clicks and rage about the once great MCU. And there were these two accounts in particular that would harass me if I said anything related to Marvel. I could be criticizing Marvel, and I'd get a, a flurry of comments. It's very obnoxious. And so eventually, I blocked both of them because it, would, it was constant, everyday um, just response to anything I said about Marvel. And being a pop culture commentator, I had a lot to say about Marvel. Still do, <laughs> but that's for another video. So... My just some this amazing thing happened when I clicked block. My timeline got way quieter, and over the years I have blocked other people. I've blocked people who have accused me of crimes, which is illegal. You can't just accuse someone of a crime, but I've blocked people who have done that. I've blocked people who have just been um, just nasty or t to me or my friends. You know, it doesn't matter. I don't have a problem with using the block button, and I don't have a problem with people using it against me. Say la vie. But Elon Musk has a problem with people using it. And I actually think the real reason is that he wants that subs that uh, ad revenue. So the reason Facebook has limped along as a social network is because of the advertising. They have a ton of... Of ads on that site. Originally, they were just kind of off to the side. They were kind of annoying. Well, now when you scroll down your timeline, it used to be called a wall, um, every other one is an advertisement. And there's no way to get rid of them. You can't buy Facebook Plus and they go away. They are there to stay. And I think Elon Musk wants to have a similar thing. And of course, he hired one of the worst CEOs you could possibly imagine to implement these changes. She's, um, he said, you know, I'm not going to cater to the globalist agenda. Hires someone who literally worked for international um, non-GMOs <laughs> so, and the media. But um, he wants to implement that. And some people called him out of, uh, on it and said, we don't want the block button gone. And he keeps insisting that he's going to do it. He even blocked a community notes that, uh, that dinged him on this because you have to have a block button to be on Google Play and the Apple iStore, which Elon Musk has talked about doing his own app store, which he should. Google and Apple should not have a monopoly on that anyway. But um, I honestly think it's so you can't block advertisers. Now, on that note... I am a very outspoken Christian. I believe that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life, that none go to the Father except through him. I stand by that 100%. I do not cave on my religious convictions. So I was getting ads for the Church of Scientology. Um, and, you know, being a Christian, I don't want to see ads for the Church of Scientology. I just don't. And uh, For one thing, it's way far left field than any other religion. I mean, just look at Tom Cruise, right? Or, or have you watched Leah Remini's documentary about them? It's insane. So I blocked the Church of Scientology on Twitter, and guess what? I don't see their ads anymore. And I think that's what Elon Musk actually wants to prevent. Because it, the Scient Church of Scientology, because they are tax-exempt, they get, they have all this money that they can spend, and they spend it heavily on marketing, heavily on advertising. And, it, you know, being a professional marketer, I can say I appreciate their ground game. They, you know, game recognizes game. They Their stuff is everywhere. Good for them, I guess. But 
um, Elon Musk wants to prevent me from seeing that. So if there's a brand I don't agree with, um, Bud Light is a perfect example. I haven't bought Bud Light since they decided to collab with that weirdo on TikTok. And uh, I haven't bought a, any of any Budweiser or Anheuser-Busch products since then. Not Nothing. I actually heard they s sold Shark Top, so maybe I'll buy Shark Top again. <laughs> but anyway, there's... They're doing so poorly that they're the Bush family may actually buy it back, which would be great. A German family shouldn't own uh, an American company. But if I hadn't wanted to see Bud Light ads, and so I went to their company page and I blocked them, that is my prerogative. I should be allowed to not see that if I don't want to. You know, I can just scroll past. I can mute them, whatever the case may be. But I think that that is really what Elon Musk wants to do. He just wants to add money. He's a billionaire. He wants more billions. And, you know, it's no shade. You know, it's just, you know, that's fine. But I think that this will also, uh, apart from just my own anecdotal evidence, I think that this will also be really bad. Think about, you know, I'm friends with several conservative women. They get death threats. They get rape threats. They get all kinds of nasty things thrown at them. Um, people have tried to send um, friends of mine, uh, female friends of mine, pornography. And the block button, um, they're able to sort of protect themselves from that. And I don't see a problem with that. I think that's a good thing. So hopefully Elon Musk will see the light that he'll change his mind, especially since he's had such a bad backlash. You know, he said we're, we're going to do things by poll vote. I saw several people posting polls saying, do you want the block button to go away? Overwhelmingly, no. So hopefully he'll wake up. He'll see this as an issue and maybe he'll fix it where um, he can still get that ad revenue money, but also... Um, you know, he can keep the uh, block button, whatever the case may be. He's also behaving like a child. So like J the actor, James Wood, brilliant actor. He was on a TV show called Shark. He was the voice of Hades and Disney's Hercules. He was the voice of Owlman and Justice League Crisis on Two Earths. Um, he has been in so many in incredible films. Chaplin is, is one of them, an amazing, fantastic actor. And one of the, um, uh, he was saying uh, he re responded to Elon Musk saying he wanted to ban the Twitter button and e and James Wood responded and told him why this would be a bad idea and Elon Musk blocked him and then Elon Musk th tweeted out this childish tweet and he said oh I'm blocking the people who don't like the me taking away the block button I hope they like the medicine it's like yeah that's the point and even James Wood said that that's your prerogative to block me I'm okay with that so I think that um, Elon's childish behavior in this the fact that um, X is, it, it's got some interest because people can't decide if Donald Trump is going to come back onto the platform. Say what you want to about the man. He knew how to run twi his Twitter account, or excuse me, his X account. So, but I think if um, President, former President Trump decides to say on Truth Social, that'll also affect how X is going to go. Elon Musk has been a parade of bad decisions since he bought Twitter from Jack Dorsey. He changed it into X. He uh, rolled out a really complicated monetization thing, and now he wants to get rid of the block button. I just think that he doesn't know what he's doing. It's it's kind of interesting because Elon Musk, he knows a lot about engineering. He knows a lot about uh, tech, but he doesn't understand the people who consume his products. It's another case of the uh, the the people who have a property don't understand the base that buys that property. And that's just my personal opinion. You know, I, I'm just going by what I see how he's behaving, but I think it's spot on. So tell me, what do you think? Do you think that it's a good idea to get rid of the block button? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And as always, you know, we can, time will only tell. The, really, the only reason I'm still on Twitter is because I'm a professional social media uh, marketer. If it becomes a time where tw where Twitter or X or whatever it's called becomes irrelevant to my job, I will probably not be there anymore. <laughs> so anyway, that's uh, those are kind of my thoughts on that. But I'll have to wait and see what happens with X.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up, that you'll leave me a comment and tell me what you think, that you'll share it out with your friends, and of course, consider subscribing to Studio Jake. I cover all kinds of nerd and pop culture topics, including film, television, anime, comic books, and so much more. I hope that you'll also head over to my main website, studiojakemedia.com, where I have even more news, views, and commentary. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, head over to my Locals page. That's studiojakemedia.locals.com. It's the best way to support me. I'm trying to build a little community there. I have exclusive reviews and articles, so definitely head over there and check it out. And I'll see you next time right here on Studio Jake.